Hello kids, this is Kiss House Media Production. The channel is Emofrawi. My name is Kalman Chumesi. I am currently a final year PhD student, study mathematics, and also I'm a vice chancellor scholar of Cardiff University in the UK. We started a campaign previously, and then we decided to what? Elaborate and also to explain to students or to you um, five key points to help you to effectively study um, as, as a student, okay? And, and, and we elaborated and we we'll actually very emphasized that each point was going to be featured in a separate video. So if you've not watched the previous YouTube videos, try and watch because for each point, we made a separate video for it, okay? So this is actually the last point, but not the least. And I'll just recap on the first four point, meaning that there they have already been um, um, four videos and each video is talking about a single point, okay? So keep in mind, you need to watch them if you not. So this is actually the last but not the least point um, of if um, to become an effective um, learner or to, be, if, or to effectively study um, at any level, be it basic level through to a PhD level, okay? Um, so there's actually the fifth point, um, but let me just recap on what we, we, we said previously. So we said in our, we said that the first point to effectively study is first of all, to believe in yourself. The second point was that um, you don't have to let people in your field intimidate you or don't feel intimidated by people in your field. And the third point was that be ready and go for war. By war, I mean be ready to study. Be confident to study, pick up your books, go to class, go for lectures, whatever you study. If you don't understand, the first point of contact is YouTube, Google search as well. So these are some of the things you need to do. It is after you've done all these and you still don't understand, okay, which will be impossible if you make good use of the internet. If you still don't understand, then you make, you make use of um, um, lecturers or friends you actually think understand or teachers you actually think understand better um so, but keep in mind that always the internet is your friend okay so don't forget that so that was technically um the the the, the third point and the fourth point that we said was that after studying don't forget to reflect on what you've studied so always try to meditate on what you've studied by meditating i mean that whatever you study being it mathematics physics biology english whatever you study pick up a book and try and summarize or what you studied or some people can just sit somewhere cool and just try to talk and they start talking to themselves by talking to themselves they are just trying to say what they've studied sometimes i can stand before the mirror and then start talking i think in the bathroom is one of the best places to talk to yourself okay and sometimes i'll just lie down i see I'm, I'm sleeping but i'm only reflecting on what i've studied sometimes i could be walking sometimes i'll just pick a book an empty book and try and fill it up with all what I've studied, be it mathematics, physics, anything. So that was actually my 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 my, my secret from the basic level through to um, PhD level. So I so I found it very useful. So I decided to um, actually share my secret with any other student who is ready to learn from it. So without wasting time, I'll just talk on the fee point. So now the fee point has actually been said already in the fourth video. So after you've believed in yourself, you, you are not allowing other people in your field to intimidate you or you don't feel intimidated by others, okay? And after you've picked up your books and you are now actively ready to study, okay? After studying, we said that reflect on everything you've studied. Don't study without reflecting or meditating or summarizing what you've studied, be it in a book or by walking and talking to yourself or by lying down and talking to yourself or standing in front of the mirror and talking to yourself. Those times when I studied science, you know, my mother knew nothing about science. Sorry, she's late. She knew nothing about science, right? But what I did was sometimes I'll go and ask mom, I'll go and ask mommy, do you really know how maybe, um, let's say, how humans actually breathe in oxygen? Do you know how the process it goes through? Or mommy, do you have any idea why it's not uh, maybe useful or, or it's not very, um, it's very de deadly for, let's say, anyone to spark a car in an enclosed garage. 
Okay, then I start talking to her. Then I start talking about the the, the scientific terms, the the the, the hemoglobin, the carboxy hemoglobin, and those kind of things. And my mother has she has no knowledge about it. But when I when I keep talking to her, she just feels proud that the son is talking science to her. And then I also try to elaborate as if I'm talking to an expert. So there are so many ways you can actually recall and reflect on things you've studied. Okay, so the fifth point, which I've already said before, is technically to solve as many questions as possible. If it is mathematics, if it is science, whatever subject you are studying, make good use of past questions, solve as many questions as possible. Perfection is actually developed through practice. And the more you solve questions, the more you become perfect, the more you understand better. The more you solve questions, the more you get, um, 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 you meet difficult ones, the more you know who to stick to. So situations where you are solving a question and you are struggling um, after you've studied, you can actually make good use of your teachers, your tutors, your lecturers, friends you think understands. Don't feel intimidated to ask anyway. So keep in mind, if you don't know something and you've actually done all the necessary steps I said and you still don't understand it, you can always seek assistance. Don't suffer in silence, okay? But keep in mind the fifth point, to wrap up everything you've studied is to solve as many questions as possible. If it is an essay you are writing, try and draft an essay. Give it to someone to read for you. If the person rejects it or tells you, maybe um, I don't have time, go to another person, okay? You have to, you see, no lecturer, no teacher will feel intimidated that you've been coming to them. They will feel proud that you are serious, that you are, you, are, you are eager to learn and they'll be willing to help, okay? So don't be too afraid of your lecturers and then go to them, ask questions when necessary, okay? So don't forget that. And keep in mind that there's nothing new under the sun. So don't forget to solve as many questions, past questions and so on. If you do that, trust me, you can get A in every subject. It's possible. No matter how difficult the course is, it's possible. I actually applied all the first five points in my master's back in Ghana, and I had 4.0 out of 4.0. I had all A's. And so keep in mind that these were my secrets, and I found it very necessary to share with, with you and anyone interested. Okay? And today, I to say, I internet use google use youtube ne study because youtube dia wonye bia Obi aye who video no so explain it said will be chirawa de no. And see no see another good avenue. Obi to me they are reflecting as I see a normal one tier see but my tier see ye. Okay, because it's actually something I was using a lot. And then yes, a four point you know. And they say I did the obi see a reflecting, meditating, kai kai. Try so best summarizing no man was see no. It will book you and now say obi over a general send you see plan obi over ben and you know as that you can search it no. A bit more base a science. A bit more base a mathematics. So I am a tired of the fact calculation one. But empty book for book. Let's start to try no man work kai. Let's solve. Let's see if point you say solve as many questions as possible. Solve as many practice test questions as possible. Solve as many past questions as possible. And if you do all these five. I can promise you without any doubt that you can you can actually score A in every single subject of your choice, in any subject. So that these are actually the secrets you need to know to effectively study at any level. Okay, so, so this will be the last point. This will actually be the last video on the five steps to effectively study at any level. My name once again is Clement. Until we meet again, have a lovely day. Cheers, stay blessed and believe in yourself. You can do it. It's possible. Everything is possible. Trust in yourself. Be, be eager to study. Put in effort. Solve as many questions. Maybe we should the internet. Don't forget the internet is your friend. Cheers. Stay blessed. Bye.